Hi, my name is Eshma Lamte. Would you consider a loan to be a good thing? Well, I think it would depend. So if it's for a business purpose, which you are sure of getting your funds back, then it is a good thing. But if it's for personal use, where you're not so sure of getting the funds back, then it's not so a good idea. Well, I'm talking about loans because I recently got myself in a position where I was looking at loan options to fund a project that I wanted to work on. I was actually not looking at using funds that had been invested to um, you know, embark on this particular project. So I was looking at loan options. So I then decided to check on a couple of um, interest rates with loans here in Ghana. And to my surprise, the minimum rate I did come by was about 23%, which was still a bit on the high side for me. So I was a bit skeptical even looking at going forward with a loan. Then I had to think of other ways if I really wanted a loan to um, go ahead to embark on this particular project. Then I thought of my friend who happens to be in the US. So I decided, okay, how about taking a loan from the US? Initially, I thought it wasn't going to be possible. So I asked him, he placed in a request. And to my surprise, it was possible. So I got a loan um, about $6,000, which uh, comes with an interest rate of about 7%. It's even 6.99% for two years, which is very crazy. Now, before I get into details, I want us to you know do some calculation, quick calculation over here. So let's just um, come to my loan calculator over here. So I'm going to be doing this in dollars. The loan rate, I, the loan amount I took, let's say six thousand, and the terms it's for two years, so or twenty four months, and the interest rate is six point nine nine. So if I calculate this. At the end of every month, I'm going to be paying $268.61. Now, $268, let me just um, convert this into Ghana City. So, 268.61 times um, 5 points. Let me just use 5.7. Let's just say 5.7. This is like about 100 and, um, sorry, 1,531 um, uh, cities. Yeah, that's every month. Let me multiply this by let's say 24 um, that's going to be 36,745 this is good let me just um, get my notes and uh, put it here so let me just enter this amount here so this is three six seven four five dot eight four now the amount i took was um six thousand so let me just calculate six thousand times five point seven let me just use the same rates and this is 34,200 so 34,200 now let me subtract um 36,745 uh point eight four minus 34,200 so this is supposed to be 34,200 so at the end of two year period i'm expected to pay a total of let me just correct this a total of 2,545 cities for a loan worth 34,000 um, cities. That is insane. So that is the possibility I got taking a loan from the US. Now let me just come here. This is Abscess um, website. And as you can see, so that's the interest rate over there. It's fixed. I can't change that. Now let's just say I want to take a loan of about 34,200 cities. And um, I'm going to be paying this uh, for a two year period. That means that every month I'm expected to pay about 1,800 cities. So after the entire period, I'm going to be paying about 8,992 Ghana cities. This is insane, I must say. and. Aside that, if you are taking a loan also, you should bear in mind that there's supposed to be a loan insurance. So out of the 34,000, I'll be looking for it to over here, 34,200. Probably I'm not going to get all the 34,000. An amount of it is going to be used, or a percentage of it is going to be used as loan insurance. And then I'm going to get the rest. So if that happens, and I'm still going to pay about 8,000, that's about 9,000 cities for two year period. Well, yeah, this is the reality we happen to find ourselves in here in Ghana. And I must say that there are some um, banks which offers more than 23% rates. So there's 24, some 25%. So depending on which rates you are able to get yourself. And I don't think the minimum, you can get something lower than 18% here in Ghana. I don't know if there is, 
then you probably might have to point me out to it. But hey, these are some of the possibilities that are out there if you happen to try a possible best to think outside the box. Um, it might not necessarily be the same situation for you. For me, I happen to be fortunate to have a friend whom I have a very high level of trust, you know, with, and we've been friends for so long. And through that, it's been possible for him to, you know, secure a loan for me for about six thousand dollars, which I have actually even started. You know, I've used it for the project, and I've even started repaying and paying back already. It's my idea for me to even use about close to six months or a one year period to be able to finish up this loan. And if possible, take more loans for future projects. So I'm sharing this with you because I want you to know that there seem to be a lot of possibilities out there. Maybe you might not have thought of this because you never considered or thought it to be possible. But who knows? If you try it out, it could be possible for you. That is especially if you happen to have people outside um, that are abroad who probably may be able to be of help to secure some loan for you to be able to do some business. So this is very important. If you are looking at getting yourself into something like this, it is very important for you to um, pay um, your loan on time. So let me just share this image with you also in case you probably are in doubt of the interest rate. So this is the loan amount that I got. That is a $6,000 amount. And this is the fixed rate. So it's even 6.99. I just made it, rounded it up to 7%. But at the end of the day, as you can see, this is for two years period. And at the end of every month, I'm supposed to pay this amount. The loan is even scheduled in such a way that the repayment, this is the amount I'm supposed to pay every month. Now, if I want to change this amount to maybe a higher amount, then there's a need for me to stick to that amount throughout the period. So if I'm going to be sticking to this, that's about 1,500 something cities uh, for the two years which is fine if I want to stick to that. But if I want to increase that, I could equally increase that to like about $500. And then I consistently pay that for whatever period that is going to take me. You get it. Now you may be asking, how am I paying the loan from Ghana to uh, my friend and for him to be able to pay that amount of money? So the good thing is there are a lot of options available from Ghana that you for you to be able to send money from Ghana to abroad. So for me, I happen to use PayPal. I have one of my MasterCard links to pay a link to PayPal. So all I need to do is just um, deposit money into my account. So I happen to use GT Bank Virtual MasterCard. So all I do is I just load the account or the card with money. I send it over through my PayPal to him. He goes ahead to make payment. Then we are good to go. Also, it's very important to know that if you fault any part of the payment, it's going to um, attract interest as part of the payment. So these are things you need to know about loan. So whenever you're thinking of going for a loan, for whatever purpose you're going for the loan for, I would highly recommend it for business purpose, which you are very sure of getting returns to be able to repay back the loan. So basically, this is what I wanted to share with you in this particular video. Loans are not bad. But depending on what you are going to use it for, depending on where you are taking it from and how you are going to use it, might make it bad or not. So that is just about it for this video. In case you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime I have a new video, you get to see it. So once again, my name is Eshmael. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.